I did things that I never knew I would have to do in my life. You needed to protect Courtney in, in, even in death. Even in death, yes, I did. I did it. And I know she'd be happy. I know she is happy. That's all for this edition of Dateline. We'll see you again Sunday at 7, 6 Central. And of course, I'll see you each weeknight for NBC Nightly News. I'm Lester Holt. For all of us at NBC News, good night. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news tonight, four suspects wanted for assault with a deadly weapon. They are now in custody. They led police on a pursuit for about an hour, weaving in and out of traffic, doing well over 100 miles an hour. If that speedometer is not incorrect, uh, we're looking at speeds anywhere from 110 to 120 miles an hour. The pursuit started around 915 in South LA. For the next 45 minutes, we saw extremely dangerous driving. As you just heard Ileana Moreno say, the car going 110 to 120 miles an hour without headlights sometimes. That car also appeared to be having a suspension issue, bouncing up and down during the chase. Then just after 10 o'clock, all of a sudden, the driver slowed down on the 14 freeway in Santa Clarita. All four people got out, surrendered, and they were taken into custody. More breaking news to tell you about. One person shot in the head at Hollywood and Highland tonight. Just down the block, Hollywood royalty, including actor George Clooney, gathered at the TCL Chinese Theater. Certainly a terrifying situation for everyone in the area tonight, which typically is very, very busy on a Friday night. NBC4's Robert Kovacic joins us live with details. Robert. Friday night, any night, it's always busy here on Hollywood Boulevard. Colleen, we do want to let you know that the person who was shot in the head, we understand right now, is going to be okay, perhaps only a graze wound. Now, let's give you an idea about exactly where I am. This is the El Capitan right across the street. You have Hollywood and Highland right there. You have the TCL Chinese Theaters just up the street. And right here behind me, in front of the Capital One Cafe, is where this shooting took place, forcing people to remain inside of businesses because they weren't really given a choice. More than just a busy night on Hollywood Boulevard, an exciting one as well. The TCM Film Festival at the TCL Chinese Theaters. Oscar winner Richard Dreyfus appearing on stage before the screening of American Graffiti. And then during the film, this message popped up on cell phones. Mia McIver from Los Angeles and her mother visiting from NorCal in the audience. It was terrifying to be in a movie theater filled with people and not know what was happening. You know, was there an earthquake happening outside? Was there a shooter who was going to come through the door of the theater? A man shot just down the street at Hollywood and Highland. I heard like a sound like a firecracker. It, it didn't sound loud. Um, I saw a lot of people running towards towards uh, towards my side. Um, uh, a lot of people panicking. What apparently began with a fight between two women ended with two men, one shooting the other, the gunman taking off, prompting the lockdowns. And be frightened by a text message and be told to shelter in place. We're at the movies and that is, it's just, it's beyond. And I think I'm in a little bit of shock. As police search for the man responsible, the film festival continued with George Clooney introducing Ocean's Eleven. George Clooney seen there in those photos on stage with director Steven Soderbergh. Again, they entered the building, we understand, after this shooting took place, and both have now exited. As far as locating the shooter himself, well, the LAPD Hollywood has one thing they can rely on, Colleen. As you know, here on Hollywood Boulevard, there are surveillance cameras just about everywhere. So as police right now fan out all across Hollywood looking for the man responsible, they certainly have those cameras and that surveillance equipment to rely on and they said that is exactly what they're counting on. We're live tonight here in Hollywood. I'm Robert Kavasek. Colleen, that's the very latest on this end. All right, Robert, thank you for that. We're also following this breaking news out of Riverside County tonight where a canine officer was killed during the search for a wanted suspect. The dog's name was Rudy. Riverside County Sheriff's Department has not released any details on what happened, but they did tell us that Rudy and his handler recently